So welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very one mark score on this side. So we are going to deal with the question of sound matrix today and the problem is actually very simple. You have been given two integers n and q. Now n represents the order of a n by n matrix. n by n matrix. There are a few special things about this matrix. The few special things about this matrix are that a i j is equals to i plus j. That is any element is equal to the sum of row number plus column number and second thing I have to assume one base indexing one base indexing that means I is going from 1 to n and j is going from 1 to n and this is a close brackets right okay this is the two things you have to note down now I have to tell me the elements number of elements in matrix equals to equals to q equals to equals to q that is number of a i j equals to equals to q that is i plus j equals to equals to q i have to tell the number of pairs of i plus j equals to equals to q okay so the brute force solution is gonna be simple my i is going from 1 to n my j is going from 1 to n what will i do i will say if i plus j equals to equals to q answer plus plus i can initialize answer equals to 0 before this loop and after this loop ends, I will return my answer, right? The time complexity of this is O of n square and the space complexity is O of 1. Moving on, what is an efficient approach? The efficient approach lies here. I will not use this one. So I will say i equals to 1 to n, right? And now the required j, so let us say required is going to be q minus i because I want i plus j equals to Q, so my j is gonna be q minus 1 so I'm writing that only so j required equals to q minus i this is i sorry now when will I increment the case so I know that j is actually going from 1 to n so this should lie in the range so if my required is greater than equals to 1 and required less than equals to n in that case answer plus plus and at last you can after this loop answer equals to 0 only slide before only you can just turn your answer you can return your answer so the time complexity in this case is going to be O of n because I am traversing only once. Space complexity is same, constant, right. But I have an optimized version for you that is based on pure observation skills. That is based on pure observation skills. How will you solve it? So I have divided the problem into three cases. First one is if q is greater than 2n. Second case is if q is less than equals to n. And the third case is if q is greater than n. That is the only case remaining if q is greater than n. Now, how I am going to solve it? How am I going to solve it? So, if q is greater than 2n, can you tell me the maximum element in the matrix? So, my i is going from 1 to n. My j is going from 1 to n. The maximum element in the i row is going to be n. j is n. So, n plus n it gives me 2n. Now, but it has been given that 2n is actually smaller than q. I cannot form any element uh, greater than 2n. So, I am going to return 0. So, return 0 in this case. As simple as that. Moving on, if q is less than equals to n, okay. So let us try. I is going from one to n, right? I is going from one to n. Now because if q is less than equals to n, so i is gonna go one to q. I is gonna go one to q. For corresponding this, j is gonna go when it is one, so it is go going from q minus one up till when it is q, it is going to be zero. Q q plus zero equals to zero. Q plus q zero equals to q, right? But it cannot be 0. So what will I do? I will say I will go from 1 to q. But j will go from q minus 1. It will go from q minus 1. It will go up till 1. Right. So 1 to q minus 1. Q minus 1 to 1. I only have to count the number of i. Because j's are corresponding to that. So I will say answer equals to return q minus 1. This is the second statement. Third statement is q is greater than n. So i is going from 1 to q in the initial case. i is going from 1 to q. But q is greater than n. So but i cannot go up till beyond n. So i has a range of up till n, right? i has a range of up till n. So I will choose the minimum among them. So i is going from 1 to n up till now. For this corresponding, for this one, when it is 1, I want uh, I want j as q minus 1 for the, for the sum to be equal. And when it is n, I want it to be q minus n. I want it to be q minus n. But there is a problem. There is a problem. What is the problem, guys? I don't know if q minus 1 lies in this range. If q minus 1 lies in the range of 1 to n. If q minus 1 lies in the range of 1 to n. So what will I do for that? What 
so this is the problem i don't know about q minus 1 being greater than n or q minus 1 being less equals to n i don't know about that right because n can be 4 q can be 5 this is validating this situation and this is validating this situation also what can i do what can i do can i say that j can be maximum see minimum value of j is q minus n that you should agree minimum value of j in this range is going to be q minus 1 this is the minimum right this is this one should be the maximum what is the maximum value up till j can go what is the maximum value the j can go up till j can go up till n j can go up till n but to see what is corresponding to this that should come so can i say it will be n here that take the maximum of n take the maximum of n right when this is n here how what is this this is going to be q minus n obviously q minus n plus n gives me q n plus q minus n gives me q now i know that i is going to in go, go in increasing fashion so what are the number of elements it will going to be n minus q minus n plus 1 why plus 1 this is an arbitrary thing so you can see you can see that q minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so it, it got cancelled and i got r equals to q minus 1. that is a initial that is a arbitrary thing that for 1 2 3 4 5 if I want to measure the numbers between four, 1 and 5, so you can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers, but 5 minus 1 gives me 4, so I have to increment it, right? That is why plus 1. So it will be n minus q plus n plus 1. Now when I open the bracket, it becomes 2n minus q plus 1. As simple as that, right? So I hope you are clear with the question and it is time for you to see the code. The code is going to be 3 lines. It is just simple if else if, right? So let us move to the code now. Here is the coding section guys. So if n if, if 2 star n is less it is small n it is is less than q in that case return it is return 0 ll otherwise else if q is greater than equals to n in that case return q minus 1 is it, so it is smaller than equals to n return q minus 1 else case that is the last remaining case return 2 multiplied by n minus q plus 1 right as simple as that let us try to compile and run it it should run fine i guess should not give any error it is working fine for the sample test case let us try it for the uh, hidden test cases as well it is working fine and i've got 8 gigabits extra so thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next video till then stay tuned and keep subscribing thank you have a nice day